All right, so again, this Adobe Cloud 2015 folder include all the multimedia um, tools there. Um, although we don't quite use most of them, uh, but we do need the Photoshop for the image processing part because we can just, you know, use TextPad to do it. So I'm going to double click on Photoshop to open that up. Um, and then I'm going to just crop with the one picture as an example. Okay. Okay. Uh, so most of the time, actually, what we use, um, when we use picture, in the our website we're trying to make either a line on the width or the height if you have a picture layout like uh, vertically i want them to have the same width so they can align better and if you have um, a horizontal picture layout then i want them highs layout same so they looks like all the same highs right the same tall and um so because you use a the camera if you use a digital camera and most of the time you know you have the same ratio so you can just uh, open the one window and squeeze that to the same size and for your image would be good um, if your image is under like 40k pretty much that's good for to use and or depend on um, how big the pixel you want to show think about this okay my screen here probably are different if you want to uh, know how big your screen resolution is um, so what you do is you click on the right of your screen desktop screen i may not be able to do okay screen resolution then you will see, oh, okay, this one, the resolution is 1280 by 800. What that mean is you get the pixel, the most smallest uh, size of the uh, little dot on your screen to make up the, this whole screen. And you have 1280 for the horizontal line, okay, of the dot. From one, two, three, four, all the way to the, you know, here is 1280. And from top to bottom, you have, 800 but dot so that square intersect with, with each horizontal and vertical that will be a one pixel that's the smallest element of the screen okay so that one pixel can only have one color one value okay so when we look at this um if you look very closely then you can see a little bit dot right there right so just like, you know, our claws is waved, right? So you can see that. All right. So uh, a lot of screen that we're using, still using 12, um, no, 1024 by 768. Okay. That's a, a lot of users still have those. So we need to consider those people when we design the website. So now we come back to the um photoshop so when i decided how big the picture is just think about it if i want 300 pixel picture what's that going to be look like okay this is my whole screen is 1280 right so if i get a 400 a 300 pixel how big that is it's a quarter almost a quarter of this whole screen so half quarter so you can look for something like this big okay so think about it is that too big for your scoring so you want to consider the final look of your you know what the picture looks like if you really want just like a, this something like this i'm big that's probably 150 pixels okay so um you have have to just test that and make a hundred percent and see what that looks like for the for pixels all right go back to the image and i open this uh let's see desktop i know you're gonna have some warning for the 3d feature you can just say okay and continue for that okay classes in 2016 and I have me.jpg I've been using that but I squeeze that too small by percentage but let's open that to see how big the, the this 
this image really is. This is showing me six sixty six point seven percent. That's that's what I'm looking right now. Okay. If you want to see what's a hundred percent, then you change the bottom to hundred. And then you will see, okay, if I sh using this picture in my website in full size, that picture will, you know, just take the whole screen. So you definitely want to resize it, right? How to resize this? Image, image size. Okay. And then you can resize it. Most of the time I would um, change this to pixel so I can see better how many pixels. It's have 666 pixels on width, which is half of the screen. That's pretty much it, okay? But I don't want that. So I want probably about uh, 200 on width, okay? So I, I will always keep this link between the width and height to keep the ratio okay if you if you click on unclick on this that means you're going to have some you can control this for 400 and then i'm going to be very tall but being squeezed right so you know you can easily find those kind of image you know, on the hallway, I sometimes see the post poster, you know, and have an image like squeezed or <laughs> very fast. And most people are trying <laughs> to squeeze, but you can easily see that. That's not very professional, right? So that's, although I want to be, you know, more um, lost weight, but that's not a good way to, <laughs> to do that. So, um, so I always keep this um, linked, propor pro pro proportion. Um, link okay so i go back to 200 on the um on the waist then the highest automatically calculated as 216 like i said don't give that highest if you want to specify uh, for that so the resolution is 180 so if i say okay then this would be the final look this is 100 percent okay so you, you will see that and then i save that Okay, let me see uh, what my user. Okay, this was like like this. This is a probably about okay, four hundred pixel. I use a percentage to do that. So, um, but if we go back here, then we save this, and then we have to um, send it over to the FTP send it over to the server, right? Always remember send it to the server, and I uh, find my class and my name, and then I'm going to refresh this and drag me to the right, over right, and let's see what change. Oh, nothing changed really. Okay, what's going on? Let's see. Did that change the, no, not really. Okay, so, okay, file, save as, this classes. Okay, let me make it very small then. Did that, did, I, I think I did, Percentage the, the the code already have the percentage so where is me? Hmm. Okay. So it's here. Where is me? Okay. The seventy percent. Okay. I have to remove this. So save. Well, I don't have to remove that. Once I change the you know me dot jpeg. If I have 30%, will be the current, the new image 30%. It will be very small, okay? So uh, I, need, I do need to... Um, okay, this... Okay, both of those be... It looks like... Is it today? It's seventh, right? Okay. And it's uh, 10, 15, so... All right, all. Okay. 
Do you see that? Is is bigger, right? So that's uh, what's what's the percentage? This. Okay, so. That's 400 pixel, but the resolution is 180. Okay. All right. So if I change this image to smaller, so um, the resolution of 72. Say OK. Save. And then I upload that to the server. And then I refresh it. It's still not working. Are we sure we are doing the same thing? <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? Uh, I'm going to close this and to reopen that and see if that will help us a little bit. Okay, 17 image. Okay, it not allow me to upload that. Override, okay. So every time you change something, you have to override that. Okay, INFM. All right, so access to uh, to 12 user 1. Refresh. Well, I guess I can't see the difference. Okay, I'm going to look at the code and see what what is showing me. Okay, it did show me differently. Okay, but the image itself is 606. The image itself is still big. So what's the problem? Maybe that, you know, the whole image be cached by, by the browser. So I'm going to go to another browser and to look. I don't like to show this okay so what is it user here we go you guys see that the image does make became small because i changed it right oh what's wrong i think okay all right let me plug the seat but this is one of the uh One of the things we can do with Photoshop, and uh, another thing is if you were uh, trying to do something. Okay, so if you're going to do this, okay, resize it and change it, upload that. I'm going to make it bigger, okay, upload it to server. Okay, so you go refresh it, it's bigger, let's see that, okay. And another thing is, you, you more often use the function is crop, okay? So if I don't like the background so much, and then I use crop tools right here, crop, and then I, I just, you know, once you click on crop, it does give you, you know, where you want to crop. So I did th do this, and I double click on that, and I don't know if I like that, okay, so. Oh, this, and I make it smaller. All right, so I save this, and then again, I'm going to refresh and drag it over to the right, and then when I refresh this, I file, and I'll see different pictures, okay? So if you already used a Photoshop before or any image processing, you probably are fine. And um, you can do any, um, let me open another one, let's see, open that. Okay, family image, pink one. Okay, well, Hansen's picture, for example. Oh, I can't, come on. I thought I have some, something. Okay, Photoshop's. Where is my classes? Okay. 16 family images. I thought I have some penguin picture. I did. I did. Okay. I did that. 